thank you for joining us tonight. It's my pleasure now to introduce a past chairman of the Board of Trustees, Joe Fennessy. Chairman. <laughs> chairman Joe, as he's affectionately known, has seen the hospital through many milestones, including uh, the uh, issues that we had during the Superstorm Standy, the affiliation with Mount Sinai Health System, and the $500 million capital campaign expansion. Matt, Dawn, Tony, congratulations. It's so nice to see so many people being honored who are really part of the South Nassau family. And I thank all of you once again. It's uh, a crowd that comes every year. Um, you provide so much support for all that we do here at South Nassau, and it's just so great to have you. You know, when I thought of Tony, one of the things I, I thought about in my remarks is, uh, you know, who is Tony Cancellieri? What kind of guy is he to me? That Tony was kind of our go-to guy, the guy you go to when you want to get something done, and uh, a person who's laser-focused. And, and finally, someone who builds absolutely lasting friendships. When I first became board chair in 2012, I asked Tony to handle a couple of difficult challenges. I asked him to chair a couple of committees that were really important for the hospital. One is our nominating committee. And that's the committee that goes out and interviews prospective board members and helps us build the board. And you heard... Uh, uh, Tony's Rolodex, I think that might have been understated at uh, however many there was, but uh, Tony went out and brought in some really outstanding board members to the board. And I asked him to also chair the building committee. And as you can see, when we talk about laser focus, we have about a half a billion dollars of projects on the drawing board, all of which were kind of being shepherded by Tony Cancellieri. All of those uh, projects are going to result in um, initiatives that are going to provide outstanding care and really the latest state-of-the-art care to the folks on the south shore of Long Island and throughout Nassau County. And Tony was also an important member of our affiliation committee who worked very hard in terms of deciding who we should affiliate with, and ultimately our decision was to affiliate with Mount Sinai, and he has been part of that team that has worked on the integration committee as well. I tell you, I am especially in awe of Tony and Mary Lou's commitment to those with autism spectrum disorders through the organization founded by them. And we thank you so much for your exercise. Well, thank you very much. And welcome on behalf of the uh, Board of Trustees of Mount Sinai, South Nassau. Thank you. We set a record tonight. We set uh, a few records, but they only let me speak about one record. We have 475 people in this room tonight. That's a record. I just wanted to congratulate my co-honorees, Matt and Dawn. Well-deserved, fantastic people, do great things for the hospital. This night doesn't happen unless there's a lot of hard work done by a lot of people. <laughs> Terry and Steve Gold, thank you, thank you. Great job. Our hospital staff, Joe Calderon, Dana Sanneman, Lynn Nardone. Thank you so much. We had a 40-person committee. I wouldn't be standing here tonight if it wasn't for my beautiful wife of 53 years, Mary Lou. She's encouraged me. She's directed me. She supported me. You know, you're away a lot when you're involved. If you do your job the right way, you have to give a lot of time. And um, I did, and I tried hard. I love South Nassau, Mount Sinai, I love it, I love it, I love it. And Mary Lou supported me so much. And Mary Lou, 53 years, 
we're married. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Uh, our daughter Jennifer was struck by an automobile on Merrick Road, close to the hospital in 2002. I was working, Mary Lou was working, they rushed us both to the hospital in separate cars. We didn't know what to expect. We went to South Nassau, we went to the emergency department. I was met at the door by two nurses, one on each side of me, and said, your, your, your daughter's gonna be okay, she's gonna be okay. I was a nervous wreck. They said she had been hit by a car and been thrown into the lane of up oncoming traffic. I didn't know what to expect. As they walked me into the emergency department, I saw Jennifer on a gurney with a collar around her neck, a brace around her neck, surrounded by a whole bunch of clinical people. My legs started to wobble. She survived. Thank God she survived. Everything was okay. But the compassion that they showed me and Mary Lou and our family, I said to Mary Lou afterwards, this is kind of a special place. This is like... They were supporting me, not as nurses, but almost like they were, they were parents, too. They understood what I was going through. I, I almost went down. I really did. And it stayed in my mind. Fast forward six or seven years, I felt the need. You know, I, I have a great wife, great family, been successful in business. Something was missing in my life. And I, and I reached out to a few friends. One is John Donnelly, he's looking at me right now. Another was Armin D'Amato, who's here. And I said, you know, I, 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 I wanna do something. I wanna give back a little bit. I don't know what it is. And they gave me some ideas and Armin said to me, why don't you reach out to Joe Quagliata at South Nassau Hospital? They're looking for board members. And I said, you know, my Jennifer was there in 2002, maybe Maybe this is God's way of connecting us a little bit. I met with Joe. For those of you who don't know Joe, he could sell you the Brooklyn Bridge. He's a great guy, but he can talk, he could talk. Well, within a half hour, I was sold. And, and I became a member of the board. And it's been a, a wonderful experience. It really has been. We've, we, we've gone through a lot. We've done a lot. I feel very proud of our board who understands how to be a good board, to do what the board's supposed to do, and to support our great leadership. We've had three presidents that I, since I've been working there or on the board, Joe Quagliata, Rich Murphy, and now my good friend Rob Schammer. These are three of the finest healthcare minds in the state of New York. We've been so lucky to have these three individuals leading us. <laughs> so lucky. Ken Davis said to me, we were having dinner one night and he said, Tony, I want to make South Nassau the flagship hospital of our system on Long Island. And he's kept to his word, everything he said. So, you know what? We're in a great position. It's going to benefit my family, your family, the 900,000 families on Long Island for years to come. God bless Mount Sinai, South Nassau. God bless you all, and thank you so much. Thank you. Who would have thought, a little over 11 years ago, that I'd be sitting up here getting the Mary Pearson Award, and even though I'm getting this honor, I do believe this honor belongs to the entire Department of Radiology. Great technologists, great front and back office staff, radiology technology students and their teachers all make the department really great. So I think it's their honor, not mine. Thank you. I also want to thank the hospital administration who has been very supportive in rebuilding the physical plant. It's, it helps us take care of our patients in the way that our patients deserve to be taken care of. I also want to thank the co-honorees, um, as we've already seen, Dawn Kiley and Tony Cancellari. Um, but most important, I really want to thank my family for their support particularly my wife. Tony beat me 20, 53 years. Mine's only 52 years of marriage. <laughs> She's put up with me, my hard work, my long hours, and my dedication. And I could not have done all of what I have done in my career without her undying support. Thank you all so much.
I'm completely overwhelmed by being the recipient for the Cooper Award for Mount Sinai South Nassau for 2023. This award for me is very sentimental. Um, it brings a lot of history from Mount Sinai South Nassau. The cupola um, on the top of South Nassau still remains there. I sincerely want to thank everyone for coming out tonight, especially my family, who have never complained for my long hours and for the, my love for nursing and the healthcare profession. When I first started at South Nassau, I was asked on my interviewing day, what was my philosophy of nursing? I was 18. I didn't think I had one. <laughs> but today, I truly say it's my three C's. Compassion, be compassionate, care, and always connect. You can never miss an opportunity if you connect with heart. Thank you, Mount Sinai, for being my second family. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. This is Dawn's favorite son. On behalf of our family, we just wanted to give a quick thank you for the outstanding care our mother received from Mount Sinai in Manhattan. We are forever grateful. Tonight, with your help, patients like our mother can receive advanced care for strokes and aneurysms close to home. Please consider your support of Mount Sinai's South Nassau's comprehensive stroke program. Together, we can save countless lives. Thank you all. Good evening, everyone. My name is Tom Stebbins, and I have the privilege of hosting the fundraising this evening. And to help me, we have Steve, welcome Steve, and Wayne, who will help as well. Do you want to say a few words? Well, I thought I was supposed to introduce you, but yeah, you that, that's right fine. Out. Tom is going to try to get some money out of everyone's wallets. <laughs> Everyone has an envelope on the table. If you take a look inside the envelope, you should find paddles or cards with your names and number. So when he asks for the additional money so we could reach the $1 million goal, you'll be easy to do it. Thank you, Steve. His jacket is not up for auction this it evening. Be. It, could be. it could be. It could be. Maybe we will go there. It could be. So what I'd like all you to do is, as Steve said, every table in this beautiful room tonight has a envelope. And in that envelope is your opportunity, a tool to help you make our community better, to save lives like Dawn's, to save the lives of so many people. So what I'd like to do right now is I'd like to practice. I'd like everybody here to show their support for Mount Sinai by taking those paddles and raising them up in the sky. Let's see it. Let's get an amazing picture for our amazing photographers. I want all the paddles up in the sky. This table hasn't even opened their envelope. Let's go, guys. Let's get all those tables. And you chatty people in the back, get those paddles up in the air. Get them up in the air because right now, that won't cost you anything. <laughs> so I know that we have people tonight who are willing to give at the $5,000 level, but I would not be doing my job if I didn't ask if there was someone who had a bigger number on their heart tonight, who maybe can be an absolute hero and let this room explode. Is there someone that could give at 10,000 tonight? Oh, sir, don't joke. Do not joke. Your table may think that's hilarious, but don't do that right now. Do we have somebody that can give at $5,000? And if you see a paddle go up, I want you to put your hands together because 201, thank you, 201. 151, thank you, 151. 225, thank you, 225. And did I see 442? There in the back, 448, thank you, four. Was it 448, sir, or 488? Sir, can you put your paddle up? Was it 448 or 488? He is actually talking to somebody else. Thank you to everybody. Where do we have it? On the stage, Wayne at two, two, two. 
and another one. One, nine, three. Thank you, one, nine, three. Yes. Is there anybody else that can give at 5,000 tonight? He can do $10. We will find you later, sir. We will get to you. Maybe you can help me, actually. I think I have a, I have a plan for you, son. Can somebody give at 2,500 tonight? Do we have somebody that can give? 214 can. Put your hands together for 214. And 224. I love this whole table. And 152. Thank you, 152, for 2,500. Anyone else at 2,500? All right, do we have anybody that can give at $1,000 tonight? 154, thank you, 154. 157, thank you, 157. 198, thank you, 198. 105, thank you, 105. 180, thank you, 180. 623, thank you, 623. Anyone else at 1,000 tonight? It takes a lot of cardio, miss. You just gotta keep Step class, 106. Thank you, 106. All right, 171. Thank you, 171. Now, my $10 guy, where are you? My $10 guy, come on up here. You were great before. I want you to help. I want you to help. What's your name? Brett. Brett. Give it up for Brett, everybody. <laughs> Brett. I'm gonna train you to be an auctioneer in five seconds. I got this. You got this. When you see that paddle there, you see it right there, you say 281, thank you, 281. 281, thank you, 281. Let's go, he's a natural. Who else? At 500. 150, thank you. Thank you, say it twice. 105. 150. Oh, 150. Sorry, guys. We got another one. Let's go. 144. Thank you, 144. We got 273. Thank you, 273. 291. Thank you, 291. 288. Thank you, 288. Who else? 227. 227. Thank you. Come on. Come on. next level is 250 and I hope this is like the cost of a shopping bag at Whole Foods so I am hoping that everybody can put their paddles up at 250 624 can thank you 624 220 thank you 220 142 thank you 142 153 thank you 153 218 thank you 218 315 thank you 315 216 Thank you, 216. 167, I see you, 167. 195, thank you, 195. You didn't see me, I wanted to do 500. She wants to do 500. 195, okay. and 195 again, it's $250 twice, that's $500. That's math, Brett. 250 for Brett, the budding auctioneer. Thank you, 173. 112, thank you, 112. 301, thank you, 301. And I'm trying not to gang tackle this poor photographer, 279. Thank you, 279. 386, thank you, 386. 461, thank you, 461. 147, thank you, 147. 127, thank you, 127. We are within $10,000 of hitting our million dollar goal. So, the math tells me we need 40 people up at 250. Do we have anyone else at 250? 199, thank you, 199. 194, thank you, 194. Anyone else? What, 264, thank you, 264. 384, thank you, 384. One, Oh, four, and he's waving me over, and we're having a quiet moment. 
I'll double it if four more people put up at 250. What? He's gonna double the next thousand. 225, thank you, 225. 334, thank you, 334. 234, thank you, 234, and 233. Thank you, 233, 335. Thank you, 335, 262. Thank you, 262, 230. Thank you, 230, 295. Thank you, 295, 294. Thank you, 294. Now you're not so chatty in the back now, are you? <laughs> not so chatty all of a sudden. Anyone else at 250? 172, thank you, 172. 145, thank you, 145. 123, thank you, 123. 253, I see you, 253, and I thank you, 253. All right, our final level this evening. We have 4,740. This man. He's I'll, gonna do it. I'll do 4,700. What is it? 750. I'll do 740. 740. Let's go. All right. So, Brett, we need your last 10 bucks because he was chintzy. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We did a million dollars. Unbelievable. All right. So, our I would like to get participation because this is all about community. I'm hoping that somebody can give it $100. Do we have anybody to give at $100 tonight? 270, thank you, 270. 178, thank you, 178. 169, thank you, 169. 131, thank you, 131. 237, thank you, 237. 265, thank you, 265. 377, thank you, 377. All right, I have... A oh, 134, thank you, 134, and 128, thank you, 128. And I have a special gift for 128. As our last person to give tonight, 128. I have what is known, and Brett, are you paying attention? Because this is an auctioneer word. This is a big ass bottle of wine. That's a technical term. Try not to use it at home. It is for being the last person to contribute tonight. Unless, of course, somebody else would be the, like to be the last person to donate $100 tonight. Which, uh, oh, she would like that bottle. I'm sorry, 128. It's gone to 1228. Thank you, 228. Unless, of course, somebody else would like to be 457. Thank you, 457. Thank you, 457. Excuse me. Thank you, 457. I would bring that all the way. Oh, 382. Thank you, 382. Oh my God, 373. All of a sudden, the back of the room is very interested in what's happening. It is going once to 373. It is going twice to 373. It is sold to 373 as the last person to give $100. You all just did a million dollars for South Nassau. Put your hands together. And one more time for my incomparable co-hosts, Wayne and Steve. Good evening, everyone. I'm Aaron Gandy, and I'm thrilled to be back uh, yet again conducting this fine event with this sensational orchestra behind me. Uh, please uh, join me in welcoming two extraordinary vocalists uh, on stage tonight. Mr. Tony Yazbek and Ms. Kate Baldwin. Days can be sunny with never a sigh. Don't need what money can buy. Birds in the trees sing their days for the song. Why shouldn't we sing along? I'm chipper all the day, happy with my lot. How do I get that way? Look at what.
Let's go. We're so happy to be here with you tonight. We are. With Aaron Gandy and this fabulous 24-piece orchestra up here on this stage. 24 pieces, that's more than most Broadway shows, you guys. Absolutely. Give them a hand. You guys are lucky. Oh, we're so excited to be here tonight with you. You've already had such a wonderful evening, and we're just gonna sing a few more songs, some of our favorites for you. Normally we do Broadway shows. Yes, we do. We have, a, what, was it, what did you say? We had 17 shows between 17 us? 17 shows between okay. us. But don't we look good? We're not that old, <laughs> right? We would oh. normally be doing a lot of Broadway show tunes, but we thought, you know, there's a lot of beautiful show tunes that are also in movies and vice yeah. versa. So a lot of the songs you're going to be hearing tonight are from movies and maybe a few pop tunes as well. You'll know them, I'm sure. And I'm sure you know this one. It's from a movie that was dear to me when I was a kid called The Wizard of Oz. No, it's not Somewhere Over the Rainbow because we need an up-tempo. We're going to keep it jazzy. You'll recognize it though. Here we go, Aaron, hit it. Once there was a wicked witch from the lovely land of Oz. And a wickeder, wickeder, wickeder witch there never ever was. She filled the folks in Munchkin land with terror and with dread. To one fine day from Kansas when a cyclone brought a house that brought the wicked witch. Wicked witch, her doom, as she was flying on her broom. And the house fell on her head, and the coroner pronounced her dead. And through the town, the joyous news went running. The joyous news that the wicked old witch was found. Old witch, oh, the wicked witch. Ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. Wake up, you sleepy head. Rub your eyes, get out of that bed. Wake up, the wicked witch is dead. She's gone where the goblins go below, below, below your hole. Let's open up and sing and ring the bells out. Ding dong, the merry yo. Sing it high. Such a crown and getting hit by a 
house is even worse than drowning. Let them know that the wicked old witch is Bye bye. Oh, thank you. All right, this next song is uh, my six year old son's favorite song, one that I sing to him sometimes at night before bed. It's in a wonderful, wonderful movie called Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And uh, it brings up so many memories of my childhood and the nostalgia. All right, here we go. Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look and you'll see into your imagination. We'll begin with a spin, traveling in the world of my creation. What we'll see will defy explanation. If you want to view paradise, simply look around and view it. Anything you want to do it. Want to change the world? There's nothing to it. There is no life I know to compare with pure imagination. So go there to be free if you truly to be you will find in your mind there's a world of endless fascination no more fun place to be than in your imagination you can dream any dream you can savor situation life in there's a sensational sensation if you want to see magic lands close your eyes and you will see one wanna be a dreamer be one anytime you please but please save me one go to compare with your imagination so go there to be free if you truly wish to be thank you so much Friend, my friend, that was gorgeous. I love the way you sing that song. And I love this dress. Oh, it's, I thank you so much. This whole thing? You, your, lap, your lipstick matches, it's just I one, try, I try, every now and then. What are you singing next? I'm a Broadway gal. No, but I was about to tell everybody oh. that you are sort of, when I think of Tony Asbeck, he's kind of like the modern day Gene Kelly, gracing the Broadway stage. But Gene Kelly could never sing like that, which is primo in my Thanks, book. Kate. You're welcome. I thought it was really good. All right, I'm gonna sing another song now. Let's see. Uh, so we're continuing on our uh, sort of tour of movies. This is one is from, um, oh gosh, I guess it's 30 years ago now. Do you guys remember Pulp Fiction? Was it a seminal film for you? It was for me. This song showed up in that soundtrack and I discovered it then, even though it came out way before then. I hope you like it. i 
take me walking Out through the backyard we go walking Then he'd look into my eyes Lord knows to my favorite movies Wait, from the that, 1980s. We, yeah, that's what we're doing now. The 1980s, one of your favorite movies, probably, well, in my childhood for sure. You'll notice it when you hear it. Credit card to ride this train It's strong and it's sudden 
Thank you. Hey. Okay, back hey. Over. Oh, I loved it. All right, how are we doing tonight? We have some drinks, we got some food, we're feeling good, we're raising money, which is the reason why we're here. Okay, I'm gonna ask, um, who's a, do we have a married couple? Who's married yeah. in this audience here? Right here, you guys, are you they guys are? married? They are. Okay, Tony. I'm gonna uh -oh, ask a question, goes. maybe we'll, okay. When you first saw y your wife, what were you feeling and thinking in that moment? How beautiful she was. Oh, yeah. Perfect uh, answer. That's what exactly a... what you should say, exactly right? Exactly right. Okay, and how, how about you, miss? What were you thinking and feeling the first time you ever saw him? How handsome he was. Aww. That's a good feeling. That's a good And those are very correct answers. Very correct. Is there anybody here out here tonight who's just dating who's, the person? Is anybody on a anybody date on a, tonight? Anybody on a date tonight? Oh, oh, oh right. look over there. Oh, you People just put just yourself on a date. Up. Oh, hold there up, he goes, hold there up. he goes, there he goes. Did, okay, let's like, we have a date here, we have a date here. Um, well, that's, oh, see, so you were friends first. Oh, this is gonna be good. Okay, so do you remember when the first time you ever saw her was in college? Do you remember what that was like? Yeah, she walked down the hall and I fell in love with her then. <gasps> just from a walk? Walk down the hall and you fell in love with her. Can you describe what you were thinking and feeling? Yeah, I was afraid to ask her out. <laughs> you were afraid to ask her out? Because it was all those feelings churning. Okay, and how about you, Miss? What, what were you thinking? He just talked a lot in class. <laughs> he talked a lot in class. That's perfect, because the next song we have is very wordy. It's a lot, a lot of lyrics, a lot of talking. Tony, you're going to start it off for us, okay, right? I'm going to try. This is from The Pajama Game, if this you ever knew that The Pajama Game, musical. it was a musical, then a movie, and it's all about that first time you really feel the feels for somebody, and what your body and your soul kind of does in the meantime. It's all a big flirt. Here we go. Oh, here, here. Oh, baby, here we go. You gotta tell me. Oh, I'm gonna try, baby. You gotta tell me. Tell me. There once was a man who loved a woman. She was the one who slew the dragon for. They say that nobody ever loved as much as he. More. Tell me! And there once was a man who loved a woman. She was the one he gave his kingdom for. They say that nobody ever loved as much as he. But me, I love you more. Tell me! My love is a giant, fierce and defiant. But how can I prove it to you? Ain't got no king, no more dragon to back up my bragging. How can I show what I would do? I only know there once was a man who loved a woman. She was the one he ate the apple for. They say that nobody ever loved as much as he. But me, I love you more.
te see I love you more I love you more I love you more Thank oh my gosh. you so much. That was fun. What's our pulse rate now? I don't know. I'm, I'm racing. I know. I am too. <coughs> All right, Broadway. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Okay. Now, we have a song that's also from another Broadway show, but was also a pop hit for the Swedish mega group ABBA. Does anybody like ABBA? Or if you're my husband and you're from Canada, you say ABBA. Yeah, any Canadians here? One, no, one, in the back there, very good. The dating Canadians, yes. So here we have the hit song, The Winner Takes It All. I don't wanna talk about things we've gone through. Though it's hurting me, that's my destiny. I played all my cards, and that's what you've done too. Nothing more to say, no more ace to play. The winner takes it all. Beside the victory, that's her destiny. I was in your arms, thinking I belonged there. I figured it made sense, building me a fence, building me a home, thinking I. Be strong there, but I was a fool playing by the rules. The gods may throw the dice, their minds as cold as ice, and someone way down here loses someone dear. The winner takes it. calls your name somewhere deep inside you must know I miss you but what can I say rules must be obeyed the judges will to shake my head I apologize if it makes you feel bad seeing me so tense no self-confidence but you see the winner takes it
Can you turn the lights out? Can someone turn all the lights out? Turn them out. She packed my bags last night, pre-flight. Zero hour, 9 a.m. And I'm gonna be high as a kite by then. I miss the earth so much. I miss my wife. It's lonely out in space. On such a timeless flight. It's gonna be a long, long time Till touchdown brings me around again to find I'm not the man they think I am at home Oh, no, no, no I'm a rocket man Rocket man Burning at his fuse I'm here alone And I think it's gonna be Touchdown brings me right again to fight I'm not the man they think I am at home Oh no, no, no I'm a rocket man I'm a rocket man Burning out his fumes up here alone Mars ain't the kind of place You raise your kids In fact, it's cold as hell And there's no one there to raise them If you did And all the science I don't understand <laughs> It's just my job five days a week It's gonna be a long, long time Till touchdown brings me around again to fight I'm not the man I think I am at home But no, no, no I'm a rocket man Touchdown brings me run again to fight. I'm not the man they think I am at home. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm a rocket man. A rocket man burning out on schemes up here alone. And I think it's going to be a long, long time. And I think it's going to be a I think it's gonna be a long, long time.
with this orchestra. Oh my God, how amazing is that? Tony, Rocket Man, Blast Off.
started dancing when I was four years old. I saw Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers on the black and white TV. And uh, I knew I had to dance. Uh, my parents put me into dance class right away. And uh, when I was six, though, my parents got divorced. And uh, that sort of, I don't know, tore me up a little bit. Uh, when I was 11, though, I had this want to be on Broadway. And I listened to all the Broadway show albums. The first show album I ever heard was West Side Story. We got that feedback? Bring it down, I'll just talk to the people. I don't need a mic. Can you all hear me in the back? I'm talking about New York up here. Can you? So when I was 11, I was living in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania at the time. Dancing, 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 right? And I got this audition in New York City for a Broadway show called Gypsy with Time Daly. Anybody see it? Okay, okay, all right. It was 100 kids at the St. James Theater, all auditioning for one spot. Boy, was I blessed to land that spot. And uh, my career in show business started at age 11. And uh, I went to that theater every single day, two hours each way, for two years. And the family that I found there was incredible, just accepting and open all different kinds of people, so talented and so kind. This was my new family, I felt safe there. You know, I never wanted to go back. But you know, shows close. Two years later we closed and I went back to Bethlehem, right next to the farm. So, a little bit years later I was in college, my third year of college, I was just broke and absolutely miserable. I was heartbroken for a relationship. I didn't know what to do anymore. I couldn't even finish school with the money I had. I'd already taken out so many loans. And uh, at $85, I scrounged up, got on a Greyhound bus and went to New York City. I stayed on a couch there, somebody I didn't even really know, and uh, auditioned. And two weeks later, I booked a national tour and I paid off all my student loans. I went around all of America. I saw all the cities, all the states. I was so lucky to travel. There was one state I never got to see, Montana. Not a lot of Broadway theaters in Montana. Always wanted to go. I got to go in January. I booked a week by myself to go to Montana to see what it was like. I needed to get out of New York, you know, just, just clear my mind. Flew to Denver, drove up in a pickup truck through Wyoming. Ah, uh, fresh, open, wide air, space. Got to Billings, Montana and cried my eyes out. I had finally made it at age 43. Unreal. And I was hiking five days, five days straight. I was hiking for like six hours straight up the snowy cliffs by myself and just felt incredible to breathe that air in. And I remember like on the sixth day I woke up on that morning and I was just ready for the day and I thought, I'm ready to go home now. Just want to go back to New York. I miss New York. This is my home. Where am I going to go? This is my hometown. This is my family. So I decided, you know, I'm just going to make this my hometown. Stop trying to get out. Make friends with the people that are here because they're good people. Some folks like to get away. Take a holiday from the neighborhood. Hop a flight to Miami Beach or to Hollywood. But I'm taking a Greyhound on the Hudson River line. I'm in a New York state of mind. Seen all those movie stars in their fancy cars and their limousines 
I've been high in the Rockies under the evergreens, but I know what I'm needing, and I don't want to waste more time. I'm in a New York state of mind. It was so easy living day by day Out of touch with the rhythm and blues But now I need a little give and take The New York Times, your own news day That's right down to reality and it's fine with me cause I let it slide I don't care if it's Chinatown or on Riverside I don't have any reason I left them all behind I'm in a New York state of songs left. This next song is from a, a recent movie. The song won the Academy Award. And uh, we had two megastars sing it, Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. But tonight we're going to try our hand at it. Let's do it. Aren't we? Cool. Yeah. Tell me something, girl Are you happy in this modern world? Or do you need more? Is there something else you're searching for? I'm falling In all the good times I find Myself longing for change in all the bad times I fear myself. trying to fill that void or do you need more ain't it hard keeping it so hardcore I'm falling in all the good times I find myself longing for change Times I fear myself. Yeah. 
Thank you so much for being here. Y'all always stick around in the chairs. You guys are extra special. Thank you so much for listening. <laughs> I appreciate you. it. Seriously, I, you must love music. You must love it. Thank you. Thank you for loving Thank music. You. Let's give it up for Aaron Gandhi and this Aaron, special music. This amazing band. All right, let's bring it home with a, with a little pop favorite. This is Aretha Franklin and George Michael. <laughs> from the 80s, baby. Yeah. Let's do it. Thank you very much. Let's give it up.